this section we're going to look at a circular symmetry. As we said in the previous section, symmetry helps us to study a segment of the model instead of a full model. So to analyze objects with circular symmetry, or so-called axisymmetrical objects, a single wedge can be used. The angle of the wedge is arbitrary, but using a small angle may result in a bad element shape, especially when there is no hole at the center of the model. The symmetrical restraints are applied to the cut sides of the wedge, to the faces of the symmetry. So for solid models, they guarantee that every face that is coincident with a plane of symmetry is prevented from moving in its normal direction. When modeling objects with circular symmetry, the geometry, the restraints, and the loading conditions are similar for all other segments that make up the model. And the circular symmetry restraints can be applied for solid models and for static analysis only. There must be defined two similar planar sections and the axis of revolution. And here we can see the disk and the fan with its two corresponding segments for study analysis. In our example, we will analyze the wheel with circular symmetry. So if we analyze the entire model, this will require using much more computer resources and time, considering similar boundary conditions and mesh density. So always, when you have an object with circular symmetry, it is always recommended to try to reduce the model. So in our case, it is enough to analyze only one of the sixth segment of the model. So first, we have to identify that segment. So here we have the entire model and here we have only one segment. So how this wheel operates? This wheel operates as the transferring element between a pipe and the shaft. So the wheel is pressed in the pipe and the inner surface of the pipe generates a uniform pressure normal to the outer surface of the wheel. And the shaft acts as a supporting component of the entire wheel pipe unit. That's why shaft will be modeled as a fixture. So first, we're gonna create a study analysis only for one segment, and then we're gonna create a study analysis for the whole wheel. And then in the end, we're gonna compare the results. And now let's start with our study analysis. Let's go to simulation and a new study. We have a static, let's call this circular symmetry one and okay so the first step is to apply material so let's go to sample b apply edit material let's choose iron let's choose here a gray cast iron with these mechanical properties let's apply and close The next step is to define fixtures. We're gonna have two types of fixtures. The first one replaces the shaft impact of the wheel. So here we have a shaft, and now we're gonna apply here a fixture that will replace the shaft impact. So let's go to fixtures, right click, fix geometry, and let's choose this surface, like this, and okay. So this is the first fixture. We can double click here and we can call this shaft. So the shaft is fixed to the wheel and the shaft is rigid. So the shaft is replaced with a fixed geometry fixture. And the second fixture that we're gonna define replaces the missing part of the wheel. So we have a missing part here and here. So these fixtures tells the software that the studied segment is a piece of larger model. Before we define the next fixture, let's create a new axis. So let's go to fixture, reference geometry and axis. And here you're gonna use cylindrical conical face and let's choose this face. And now here we have a new axis and let's click okay. So to define the second fixture, let's go to fixture, right click and advanced fixture. And here let's choose cyclic symmetry. 
So here we can see animation how this looks like. So this is our case. And here down we have to choose the faces. The faces to which the restraints are applied are the side faces. So we're going to have this face. Let's click here and this face. And now let's click here on the axis and let's choose here this axis. And now we can see the preview of the entire model. Let's click OK. And now here we have shaft and cyclic symmetry. So this fixture on this face replaces shaft and this fixture here and here tells the software that this segment is a piece of larger model. The next step is to apply loads. So what is going to be our load? So since the pipe presses the surface, we must define load here. So we're going to have uniform pressure on this face with 5 mega pascals. So let's go to external loads. And let's go to pressure. Like this, let's choose this face. We have normal to selected face and we have 5 mega pascals. And let's click OK. And now we are ready to define our mesh. So let's go to our mesh, right click. Let's go to create a mesh. Let's check mesh parameters and let's choose curvature based mesh. And for the maximum size of the element, let's choose 6 millimeters. And for the minimum element size, let's choose 2 millimeters. And let's click OK. Now let's go to Mesh, let's right click and let's see the details. So we have total nodes 19,000. We have maximum aspect ratio 4.66 and we have time to complete Mesh 3 seconds. Let's exit and let's run our analysis simulation and run this study. So we got our results, stress, displacement and strain. Here we can see the minimum stress and the maximum stress. We can right click on the stress, ch chart options. Now let's show maximum stress. Let's see. So as you see, we have a maximum stress here inside here. as well here on the other side. Let's go to results and let's define factor of safety plot. Let's click OK. And our minimum factor of safety is 7.57. We can positively say that our model is saved. It won't break. So in this case, we could go with higher pressure or we can maybe remove some material. But now let's go to stress, double click. Let's right click on the stress. Let's go to animate. And now we can see the animation. As you notice, those two surfaces, this one and this one don't bend. They stay in the same plane. Let's stop, let's go out, let's go to stress, right click, chart options, let's go to definition, advanced options and let's display symmetric results and OK. And now here we can see the virtual other five parts of our model. Now we can go to stress and let's animate again to see the animation of the whole model. And this is how you can use only a wedge for the circular objects to create a study. To see the difference in the static analysis with the whole model and with the one segment of the model, we're going to create simulation of this wheel. 
So let's go to simulation and let's create a new study. And let's call this circular symmetry 2 and OK. So we have to define the material. Let's go to apply edit material. Let's go with iron. Let's go here with gray cast iron. Apply and close. In the next step, let's go to fixture. Let's go with fixed geometry. And here we have a shaft. So we're going to put here fixed geometry and OK. And this is it. This is our shaft. Now let's go to external loads. Let's go to pressure. We have normal to sketch selected face. Let's choose this face. So here we have a pipe that presses this surface. And let's go here with 5 mega pascals. Okay. And now let's create a mesh. Let's go to mesh, right click, create mesh. Let's go to mesh parameters, curvature base mesh. Let's go here with maximum element size, 6. And here we have minimum element size, 2. And let's click OK. Now let's see our mesh details. And now let's compare this to our previous study. Here we have total nodes more than 90 thousands. And before we have total nodes more than 19 thousand. So here we have 70 thousand nodes more. We have maximum aspect ratio here 5.7 and in previous case we had 4.66. So we had better mesh quality in previous case. And time to complete this study is 7 seconds and before we had 3 seconds. Now you, now you can see the difference when you use a whole model and when you use only a part of the model. So in the previous case when we used only a part of the model we have much less nodes, we had better maximum aspect ratio, so we had better element shape and the time was 3 seconds and now we have 7 seconds. Now let's exit and let's run our study. And this is the stress plot of our model. Let's go right click, chart options, and let's show maximum annotation. Let's go here. As in the previous case, we see that we have the maximum stresses here. Now let's go to our results and let's create factor of safety plot. Let's click OK. And we see that we have the factor of safety 6.7. And in the previous case, we had factor of safety 7.5. So it's pretty much close. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty much close. But since we had a better mesh quality in the previous case, the other factor of safety of 7.5 would be more accurate. And now let's go to stress. Let's go right click and let's animate. And now we can see the animation of our model. So we can conclude that the numerical calculations for segmented models can successfully replace those for the entire complex model. So we have a big saving in time and we have a big saving in memory. And our results are pretty much the same. But keep in mind that you have to transfer the segmented results to the entire model when you use only a segment in the analysis. But also the time for creating a mesh depends on the computer that you used.